for two days, the Art and Design Department of the Children's International School in Lekki, Lagos, stayed true to their vision to keep up with making learning fun for their students by expanding their horizon and creativity. A well-decorated hall and an array of works of art done by the Children's International School in an exhibition themed Dynamic Metamorphosis. This is not the first time the institution is doing this. It has become a norm because the management believes children should have good clean fun while broadening their horizon. The beauty of uh, such schools is that they understand the power of art, the power of self-expression. Uh, art and society are intertwined. And so they understand that and they want ch the children to have a feel of that as they express themselves. Art is incredibly important. Art comes from within. Art comes from the heart. It comes from the soul. There is no right or wrong. It gives every student, every learner, that opportunity to express themselves in many, many forms. No topic was off the table, as the students are aware of what's happening around them, and through proper guidance, they express these thoughts in their art. Each year we hold an art and design and technology exhibition, and each year, without a shadow of a doubt, we get stronger and stronger in the way we can showcase our students' skills, talents and techniques. I've been a head of school for many, many years. I've visited lots of schools, and I see lots of artwork, but never original, never dynamic, never inspiring, and never relevant to the whole world problems that we're facing. And this year, thanks to the United Nations, Ms. Bolla, and also to Ms. Polly and to Madam Chief Nikkei, who is our patron here for the arts, we are able to show how we can reuse, recycle, and completely dynamicize the whole of artwork as we know it. And the method they adopt is turning waste to wealth by using found objects. What should have been a menace, what should have been junk, we, we've now decided to transform into something creative and beautiful. Uh, one of our goals is to use what the UN has earmarked as SDGs and see how we can tackle that using creativity. So the children have put together all these works made from all kinds of junk gathered here in school. Plastic bottles, spoons, straws, cartons, all kinds of junk. We have decided to transform that into art. Proud parents take time to admire the pieces done by their wards. And contemporary artist, Polly Alakija, who is one of the professional hands that interface with the children before now, admits that there are loads of potential in this room. It's great to see that the kids are using all sorts of materials, especially recycled materials. So they're really proving the point that it's not what you're using or the materials you're using, but it's how you use it um, and how you use your creativity to express yourself. That you shouldn't be determined by having expensive materials. These children have gone around their environment, collected waste, thrown out paper, plastic bottles, and they've recycled it and created something beautiful. So it's really fantastic to see that. What I'm also impressed with is the originality of the work. So every piece of work is individual. Um, very, well in fact, no copycatting happening. Everybody's doing their work, expressing themselves, using cheap, inexpensive, well, throwaway materials, recycled materials. They've been studying the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, Goals and um, looking very much at pollution, how we can make a better environment for ourselves in our cities. And the whole issue of plastics recycling is um, being addressed by the children and their work and through their creativity. So proud 
so proud. There are children's work in here. Some children as young as five or six years of age, some as old as 16 years of age. And the work is absolutely first class. <laughs> This year's program is tailored to realize United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So the students use art to address the SDGs with a focus on responsible consumption and production. And management of the Children's International School is delighted that all the weeks of hard work prior to getting here just came out fine. <laughs> <laughs> 